Good day, everyone. I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We've got one trough that moved through earlier today, another one that's going to be moving through tonight, also into tomorrow morning, and it looks like even a stronger one potentially moving for Thursday night into Friday. Either way, all these systems may give us a slight chance for a few showers. The best chance, though, will be for the coastal areas. I'm going to take a look right now at our pinpoint forecast, and you'll see what's going on here, at least what the model is predicting. Get some clouds passing through with the next trough tonight into tomorrow morning. There will be a possibility for a few showers for the coast late tonight and also the first part of Wednesday. The trough moves inland, kind of weakens as well, but there is actually a slight chance, very slight chance for a shower outside of that. We'll just see clouds mixing in with sunshine and obviously we'll still be dealing with the areas of haze and smoke from the gap fire as well. But the stronger system moves through later Thursday, Thursday night and Friday, and it's way out here in the Pacific, but you can see the clouds increasing later in the day on Thursday, Thursday night and Friday morning, we may actually see the possibility of a few showers developing mainly west of the Cascades. Again, the best chance will be for the coastal areas. Our forecast for the coast, some clouds moving in overnight, slight chance for showers late and also a possibility for a few showers, especially Wednesday morning. Low tonight will be in the 40s and 50s, highs tomorrow, upper 50s through the 60s moving inland. Outside of the areas of haze and smoke from the Gap Fire, we should see mainly fair conditions. For tomorrow, sunshine mixing with clouds with areas of haze and smoke once again. Our highs will be in the 70s and 80s and low tonight, upper 40s through the 50s, generally speaking. I'm going for 51 and 81 for Ashland. East of the Cascades, maybe an isolated chance for an evening shower or storm. Otherwise, just some areas of haze and smoke possible. For tomorrow, sunshine mixing with clouds with a slight chance for showers. Again, areas of haze and smoke possible. Your highs will be in the 70s and low 80s, cooler up towards Crater Lake, and you'll have cool starts generally in the 30s and 40s for lows. Klamath Falls at 43 and 77. You know, for this time of year, these temperatures aren't too hard to take with highs in the 70s and 80s, minus the haze and smoke. I'd say those are pretty good numbers. I'm putting in a slight chance for showers for the Rogue Valley Thursday night and Friday with that stronger trough. Outside of that, we go back into the upper 70s and 80s into the weekend with sunshine mixing in with clouds. Cool starts for you, Klamath Basin, and your highs will generally be in the 70s. We could have a cooler day, though, on Friday with the stronger trough moving in Thursday night, Friday for a slight chance for showers on Friday. I am putting in a slight chance also on Wednesday. Mount Shasta City. You have sunshine around, mixing in with some clouds. Highs of the 70s and 80s. I'm putting in a slight chance for showers for you Thursday night and Friday and some cool starts again for the coast. You have the best chance of seeing the uh, rain shower activity, so we've got a chance on Wednesday, also a chance Thursday night and Friday and a slight chance on Thursday.